and welcome everyone to our presentation over positive childhood experiences. We want to go over a few items with you all before we get started. Please note that this is a recording and not a live event. We will share our contact information later on in this presentation for those that would like more information or have questions. Also, at the time of this recording, we are not wearing masks because we are in private rooms. As Ashley said, welcome. We are excited to talk with you all today about positive childhood experiences. My name is Frances Wampler, and I'm a program coordinator here at the Center for Children's Health, led by Cook Children's. My team focuses on adverse childhood experiences, as well as child abuse and neglect prevention. And my name is Ashley Jackson. I am a program coordinator for the Build a Bridge program with the ACES team within the Center for Children's Health led by Cook Children's. Today we are going to define adverse childhood experiences and positive childhood experiences, discuss prevention strategies, explain why positive childhood experiences are important, and also demonstrate ways to promote positive childhood experiences. Let's first start with the definition of adverse childhood experiences. Adverse childhood experiences, or ACEs as we've referred to it a few times, are traumatic events that can potentially occur in childhood ages zero to 17, such as abuse, neglect, or household dysfunction. Some examples of those include experiencing violence, abuse that includes physical, emotional, or sexual abuse, as well as neglect, growing up in a household with caregivers that struggle with substance use problems, mental health problems, or instability due to parental separation or even having a parent that's been incarcerated, having a family member attempt or die by suicide, as well as witnessing violence in the home or community. ACEs can disrupt a child's sense of safety, stability, and bonding and create toxic levels of stress that can limit healthy brain development. This can result in long and short-term effects on health, behavior, and life potential. Some chronic health problems that have been linked to experiencing adverse childhood experiences are mental illness, suicide and anxiety, cancer and diabetes, injuries such as fractures or traumatic brain injuries, risky behaviors like substance use and unsafe sex practices, as well as have a negative impact on your education, job opportunities, and even learning potential. We're now going to play a short video developed by the Center for Disease Control and Prevention that will go into a little bit more detail about ACEs, as well as to give you an introduction around the material that we're going to cover later in the session, positive childhood experiences. You might often hear, children are our hope for a better future. What if you heard instead, we're making a better future for all children possible? You will. Across people, relationships, and communities, we're creating a new standard for the next generation. This generation will thrive, free of adversity. And the time for this change is now. For too long, Early negative events have impacted the health and well-being of children and the adults they become. These negative events are known as adverse childhood experiences, also known as ACEs. The science of ACEs shows the effects of growing up exposed to violence, abuse, and family mental health conditions or substance use disorders. ACEs can lead to extreme or repetitive stress, known as toxic stress, that can impact a child's developing brain. They can increase risk for teen pregnancy, sexually transmitted infections, substance use, and chronic health problems. They can also increase the risk of high school dropouts and unemployment. The ripple effects can be felt over a lifetime. The good news is prevention is possible. Relationships and environments that provide positive childhood experiences give every child what they need to stay connected and healthy throughout life. Everyone can help create connection and a sense of belonging by supporting children and families where you live and work. That's where you come in. You can look for ways to help friends, neighbors, and coworkers. 
and maybe even people you don't know. As a friend or neighbor, you can offer to make a meal for a family in need or drive a parent or child where they need to go. As a coworker, you can be there to listen to your colleagues, offer support for what they need, and follow up to see how they're doing. Take breaks and have lunch together. Look for signs of depression and encourage your coworkers to seek help. You can make returning to work easy for new parents by helping with their workload or start a parent support group. As a mentor, you can volunteer to work with young people. Sign up to read to or tutor students. Parenting is hard. Support helps parents and children, even in the best of situations. Support community programs that provide safe and healthy conditions for all families. Healthy childhoods, supportive relationships, and resilient communities start now with your help. What will you do? Everyone can raise awareness about community solutions that provide safe and healthy conditions for all children and families. Learn more about preventing adverse childhood experiences. Thank you, Francis, for that introduction to ACEs. Something we know for sure is that ACEs are preventable by creating and sustaining safe, stable, nurturing relationships and environments for all children and families. In doing so, we can help all children reach their full health and life potential. On the right side of the slide, you will see an infographic from the CDC on preventing ACEs, and you can find out more information by visiting their website and utilizing the link listed below. Moving from adverse childhood experiences to positive childhood experiences, a positive childhood experience can be defined as feeling safe within our families to talk about emotions and things that are hard and feeling supported during hard times. Studies show that positive childhood experiences before the age of 18 are beneficial in many ways. They can counter the effects of ACEs, result in better health outcomes, and enable resiliency even in the face of adversity. As we learned earlier, relationships are key to creating positive childhood experiences where children can thrive. Encouraging positive childhood experiences shows reduction in cases of depression, heart disease, and obesity, and also lessens immediate and long-term harms. Now that Ashley has defined positive childhood experiences and their importance, let's take a deeper look. Positive childhood experiences can help children grow into successful adults and can even offset the negative impacts of adverse childhood experiences. Some examples of positive childhood experiences include having a safe positive experience with healthcare professionals, Children having the ability to talk about their feelings with their family, as well as feeling supported by their family. Participating in community traditions. Children and teens feel like they have a belonging at school and when they feel supported by their friends. Feeling safe and protected by an adult in their home, as well as having non-parent adults show an ongoing interest. Positive childhood experiences can promote resilience in children and help them become healthier adults. Together, we can create positive childhood experiences by utilizing positive parenting practices, helping children have a good healthy start, building a relationship with a trusted healthcare provider and maintaining those well child appointments, modeling healthy relationship skills for our children, encouraging participation in local activities like sports or clubs, and identifying social supports and community resources. Parenting is hard and it's okay to ask for help. Now let's talk about positive childhood experiences and play, in particular, special playtime. You can use special playtime to build a strong nurturing relationship with your child. It is important to make a priority to carve out time to play. Play is a child's language and it is crucial to their development. Play can teach children many lessons and prepares them for adult roles. Items that you can use to facilitate special playtime play are blocks, coloring books and crayons, 
figurines, and Play-Doh. Blocks and coloring books teach children physical dexterity, while play with figurines or toys helps them to understand the world around them, understand relationships, and recreate experiences and expand their imaginations. Playtime also offers the opportunity to, to identify skills, talents or abilities, and provides relief to stress and more joy. Some tips that you can use during special playtime is to spend about five to 10 minutes playing with your child each day, increasing that time each time that you play. Be consistent and try to make playtime happen about the same time each time um, at a time that you can focus without distractions. Also allow your child to take the lead and make some decisions. This helps your child to build independence and also their confidence. Be enthusiastic and praise good behaviors. This communicates that you're interested and that you like what your child is doing. Thank you for that example of how to promote positive childhood experiences at home, Ashley. Preventing ACEs and promoting positive childhood experiences is something that we can all do. Parents and caregivers can establish a routine at home. Children feel safe and secure in structured environments and thrive when their schedule is predictable. You can set aside time each day to talk and to play. This lets your child know that they are important and strengthens the child-parent bond. This is a good opportunity to utilize that special playtime that we just learned about or come up with something together as a family. Friends, family, and neighbors can develop nurturing supportive relationships by offering to babysit, providing a meal, or even lending a hand when a family might be in need of some extra help. Coworkers, we can listen to our colleagues and we can support each other by offering encouragement as well as following up when we know someone's struggling. You can also support them by offering to help with their work responsibilities. And everyone can recognize the challenges that families face and offer support and encouragement to help reduce levels of stress, as well as promote values that discourage violence at home and in our communities. Thank you, Francis, And thank you all for spending time with us today to learn about positive childhood experiences. If you have any comments or questions, our email is listed on this slide or you can visit our website for more information on ACEs or our Build a Bridge program. We hope that you have learned something today and that you have some ideas that you can incorporate in your life. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.